Hey guys, what's up? So welcome back to episode 11 of Monning. So this time we're going to be covering smelting. Since I promised to one of my viewers that I'm going to be doing an episode on smelting, let's go ahead and do this. So we're going to do this. So you know my green gem, it has an S on it. So when you smelt this gem, it's going to become this gem right here. Uh, for those who want to learn how to, you know, smelt with blocks, I'm going to like pretty much describe how to do it for blocks as well. So we're going to do this for items. And then I'll teach you like pretty much how to do it for blocks as well. So let's go ahead and do this. If you want this download of this different, you know, it doesn't really that look that great. It's just a 16 by 16 green uh, gem. So yeah, just go ahead and get this if you like. So let's go ahead and start coding this all in. So it's very easy to do this. It's not really that hard. So uh, go to your mod underscore minecraft dot java. So go to your mod underscore minecraft or whatever you called it. And there's no need to put a public static final. All we have to do is just do a public void load. So let's go here. Uh, you could do it really anywhere. And let's just go right here. Or we could just go right here to the end of this. And let's just paste this right in. You're going to go into my description and get the source of code. Which is a just a small mod loader ad smelting. That's all it is. And just copy it. So just go in my description, click on the link, and it'll come out as a web page, and you'll just copy that, and you'll go to your right here, public void load, and just paste that in where you have everything else at. So let's go ahead and paste that in. So modeloader.add smelting, we could do this either a block or an item. So let's go ahead and call this an item. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, add in a smelting for my new item. Wait a minute. Let me double check on this. If I'm going to smelt... If I'm going to smelt for a new item, I have to register a new item. So I'm going to add in a new item into uh, Minecraft. So I'm going to have to register this by itself. So I'll go ahead and do that later on. But let's go ahead and add smelting for a dirt. Okay, a block dirt. So block dot dirt. Okay, that's basically it. So block dot dirt. And if it's an item, you have to change this to shifted index. But this is a block, so it's block ID for the new item stack of your item. And our item is... Let's just go ahead and make it our green gem. So green gem. There we go. So we're going to get one green gem if we smelt a block dot dirt. So model loader dot add recipe for the block dirt. And we're going to receive ourselves one green gem. Now it's already finished. That's basically it. So let's go ahead and play our game and see if it did work. And if it did work, that's awesome. Let's go ahead and check it out. If we could smell a dirt and it'll come out as a green gem. Uh, gem. So let's pull out a furnace. Oh, I'm in survival. Let me go into my creative world. And here's a creative game. So now let me pull out a furnace. There we go. And there's already a dirt right there. So now I need some coal. Oh, there we go. There's the coal. All right. So now I am going to place down this furnace. Let me put a torch right here to bright this up and put ourselves a dirt and a coal. So now the dirt is going to be smelting into our green gem, which is, there's one right here. So let's just wait a little bit until this happens. And there we go. So now we have ourselves a green gem. That's extremely easy, right? So now let's do this for e another item. So what we're going to do is add in a item. So let's go here and add in another item. So what I'm going to do is go here to gem. I'm going to copy this gem. I'm going to copy this previous gem. We're going to add in a new gem, and it's going to be called Shiny Gem. Shiny Gem. Let me space this out. There we go. So public static final item Shiny Gem equals a new item. Let's go ahead and we could keep it the same. We could keep it the same. We could keep it green gem. And let's just change the item ID. So let's just make it in an original ID where it's not uh, already taken up. So let's make this 100. So 2100. Is that already taken? That seems fine by me. So 2100 and let's just rename this to awesome. Let's call it awesome. So there we go. Now what we need to do is since we have registered a new item, let's go ahead and just copy our old code of the green gem. Copy that. And let's just press enter a few times and paste that one more time. Let's just paste that in. And I'm going to call this shiny gem. Let me just scroll all the way back up and just copy this. Copy the name of shiny gem and just replace this uh, green gem to shiny gem since I did copy and paste that so let me just copy and paste that there we go So model loader add name for the shiny gem and the in-game name is gonna be shiny So we're gonna get ourselves a shiny gem and now we're gonna set up the path for my shiny gem and My shiny gem isn't called green gem if you notice it's called shiny gem. So let me rename this I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna go to eclipse and just paste that right in there we go 
So that's basically how to set up an item. I did it really quick because you guys already know how to make more items. I'm pretty sure you guys already know how to make new items and copy and paste old code. It's just very simple. So now let me go ahead and set this up in my folders. So I'm going to copy my picture, go to my modding's folders, and just place it right into my uh, items folder where I have all my items at. So I'm going to copy and paste it and go here to Eclipse, Clients, Bin, Items, and just paste that right in. I'm just showing you guys basically how to make another item. So you guys already know how to make an item. I shouldn't be going over this again. So now what we're going to do is mess with the uh, smelting. So what we're going to do is go to block.dirt and just highlight all of this. We're not going to be messing with this anymore. And we're going to call it green gem. So let's call it green gem dot shifted. I think it, there we go. It's already coming out right here. So dot shifted index. Just double click that. There we go. So model loader add recipe for the green gem dot shifted index new. And we're going to call this shiny gem since we created our new gem called shiny gem. So the moment we place ourselves a green gem, we're going to receive ourselves a shiny gem. And we're only going to receive one. Actually, let's just go ahead and make it five shiny gems off of this one green gem so now let's press play press ok and it should be able to work and let's go to single player go into this world go in here and let's place down a, a green gem and it should be able to create ourselves five shiny gems since we did create shiny gems and that's basically it I just created another new item called shiny gem and here it is so here's my shiny gem and I could just paste them down because they are five five shiny gems and I could place another of my green gems and get shiny gems you could do this for food products you could do a lot of other things I know that my next tutorial will be covering food so if you guys ever wanted to have food we're gonna do food and then we're gonna do mobs and then we're gonna do a lot of other cool things so yes thank you guys so much for rating this uh, modding series it's very simple all you have to do is just paste one line of code and you are done Please rewatch this coding modding series episode if you don't understand how to smelt because it's very simple. It's just one line of code and it's pretty much self explanatory. All you have to do is just model or add smelting for this one particular item, which is a green gem, shifted index. If it's an item, shifted index. And if it's a block, you have to put block ID for the new item stack of shiny gems. So, five shiny gems if we smelt one green gem. So, that's basically it. Hopefully you guys will like this. I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you.